Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for coming back, tuning in, all that stuff. I appreciate it. And I've got a, what I think is going to be a quick video for you. I try to do it quick and then I always end up talking because I just like to talk about this stuff. So um, I'm going to make it as quick as I can, but I'm talking about one filter in particular, what I call one filter to rule them all. Yes, I like Lord of the Rings. Um, but the filter is the raw, raw develop or the develop filter. And you know, you guys know that I love my filters. In fact, I did a video with like my 10 favorite filters. I mean, I love color balance. I love golden hour. I love adjustable gradient. I love structure. I love so many filters. But if I had to pick one, just one, I would pick develop or raw develop, right? And the reason why is you can do so much. You've got temperature and tints, so that's white balance, right? You got highlights and whites, you got shadows and blacks, you got clarity, you got exposure, you got contrast. You got a lot. And so what I find is if you're not doing a, an extremely artistic edit, and uh, so that's one, uh, two, if you shot it well, and three, if you, uh, you know, in, if you shot it in good light, it's really all you need is the develop filter. It's that powerful. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples. One that actually fits the description I just did, and then one that not so much, but you'll still see that you can come out of it uh, kind of with a nice photo, even with just one filter. So let's hop into this thing. All right, so I've got the raw develop filter here. This is a raw file, and this fits um, you know my criteria. I'm not going artistic here because it's this is from Italy, um, and I just want it to look you know a little bit better than it uh, than it looks in this raw file, right? Um, it's uh, I think shot well in my opinion. Uh, I shot it, so I'm a little biased. Um, you know, it's like your mom saying, "Hey, your your picture that you drew is so pretty," or whatever, right? When you're a kid. Um, so you know, you're kind of biased towards your own stuff, is what I'm saying. But uh, and then um, number three is. Um, you know, the light was forgiving. It's beautiful light, right? So let me just show you real quick how powerful this is. Um, I just want to do a few adjustments here, and I'm going to just, I'm kind of messing around. I'm doing this live, so um, I don't have a particular plan on the photo. Admittedly, I've done a little bit with this before recording this video, but I just kind of want to show you the difference that a single filter can make. So now you're looking at it and you're saying, so what's the big deal, Jim? Well, let me show you the before. And the after and the best I think is this sliding thing right so there you go I mean I think we made a massive difference in the photo I think the sky looks gorgeous I like the long exposure effect which is the shooting at well part in the water because that creates this smooth water in the river Arno there um, and the clarity gives a nice bump to the um, to the buildings there along the Ponte Vecchio and the buildings on the side so that's the power of the develop or raw develop filter. It gives you a lot of power, uh, you know, to impact your photo, and with really not a lot of effort. I mean, this is this would would have been 15 or 20 seconds, maybe 30. Um, you know, so let's just say you're messing around and not sure what you want to do. You might spend two or three minutes, but you know, if you're not going super artistically, you know, different than reality, which I, I like to do a lot, believe me, um, but I'm not doing it here. If you shot it well, and if you're in, you know, forgiving or nice complimentary light, you're talking a couple of minutes uh, per photo edit. And now, here's the thing I didn't talk about. There's the lens uh, tab and the transform tab, and I'm not going into those in this video. I have a video about those, and I'll put the link up there. I always forget. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's that corner. Anyway, um, but the adjust tab I'm talking about just with develop or raw develop, you have all this power. Um, and, you know, again, not going incredibly artistic. Uh, I shot it well, or at least I shot it to my liking. That's a better way of saying it. Um, and, uh, you know, the light was forgiving or complimentary, right? It's beautiful light, sunset. But there's a before and there's the after. I think it looks great. Two things I would do. Um, I personally would not be finished with the one filter. You could be. I would add structure and go negative and brush that into the water just to smooth it out. And then I would go up here and get the erase tool because I see a few spots in the sky that were on my lens. Those are things I would choose to do. Um, the spots, obviously, you got to do. But in terms of filters, adding the structure and going negative and painting it in the water, that would be an elective choice. It's not something you have to do. It's just something that artistically I would like to do. The point is, if you look at it's not going to necessarily change the photo a whole lot. It's just going to make me a little bit happier. Um, and that is the goal, by the way, I think. When you're editing photos, make yourself happy. That's rule number one. Um, and all the other rules kind of, I don't really care about, right? If you're not happy with it, start over, right? So um, anyway, um, that's photo number one. Now, photo number two is this one. Now, um, 
this one, that's how it was shot. Now this is a uh, just a develop filter, meaning it's not a raw file, it's a JPEG, but this is a, an export from my library as a JPEG from a raw file. So I didn't do anything to it, in other words. It's just a uh, unedited JPEG. Um, but the truth is, it didn't look like that. Um, and by the way, you may have seen this photo before. So um, I now have, once you cross 10,000, you can get access to something called, a, sorry, 10,000 su subscribers on your YouTube channel. You can get access to um, what's called the community tab. So if you just, you're on YouTube now, if you go to my main YouTube page and you look across the top, it says like videos and playlists and whatever, um, there's something there now called community. So if you click on that, it now, um, now that I have 10,000 subscribers, I'm able to go in and post things like uh, just uh, photos and saying, hey, people, look, look at this, or comments about you know things. Uh, I can post polls. So I'm probably going to do some things like that. So I encourage you to check that out. Um, but I, I posted this photo there, a before and after with the split screen. Um, and as you know, hey, people, what do you? how many filters do you like to use? And how many do you think I used on this? And people were guessing. Um, and I only used one. I used just this develop filter. So let me show you what I did. Um, first thing is I went with the uh, increase in exposure and contrast, and then I bumped up shadows a little bit and uh, a little bit of highlights and whites as well. Um, I came over here. I've got to significantly change that color. And I mean, wow, look at that. I mean, what a massive difference just the temperature slider made. Um, I think that just looks awesome. A uh, tiny bit of tint and clarity. I can bump that up quite a bit because I'm not worried about creating artifacts in the sky because this is all interior architecture. I actually think I'm gonna bump up the blacks a little bit as well. And actually, I think I might take the highlights down and maybe the whites a little bit. Anyway, let me show you the before and after. Before, after, I mean, look at that difference. I mean, what a difference that is. And you saw it, I just did this live, right? I didn't have this pre-done. I haven't made any changes to the photo other than what you saw me just now do with the develop filter. So. That's the power of the develop filter or raw develop, and that's why I call it one filter to rule them all. Obvious nod to uh, Lord of the Rings there, but um, if I had to pick one, which by the way, I ain't ever gonna pick one because I love my filters. As I said, I love all, there's so many filters, you know, a good 10 or so that I use all the time that are kind of my favorites. But you know, if you're looking for quick hits um, and you're shooting, uh, even if you're not shooting raw, but if you shot it well, you know, to your liking and you got pretty favorable light, where things are fairly balanced and you don't have to do a lot of kind of artistic manipulation or whatever, um, or even structural manipulation, you know, where you got to bring in gradient mass to change the sky and all this kind of stuff. If you don't have to do all that and you got a pretty decent starting point, and in this case, I looked at that and I was like, God, that sucks. To be honest, it wasn't that yellow, but that's what the camera picked up. Um, I remember it being more like that, but isn't that funny how different it can be? Um, with one filter. And so that's to me the power of develop and or raw develop. Just the only difference is do you have a raw file or not? If you do, it's called raw develop. And if you don't, it's called develop. Um, and by the way, a lot of my presets, I don't include this filter. Many times I will use this filter on a base layer. And then once I get it looking about how I want, I'll go add a new layer and then go get one of my presets and stick that on as my artistic uh, edit, right? And then make some adjustments from there. And so that's why a lot of my presets don't always have develop or raw develop in it. So um, I don't know if you've ever wondered that, but I've got plenty of filters that just don't have that, uh, uh, excuse me, plenty of presets that don't have that filter in there. So anyway, that's it for uh, this, uh, this video. I hope it's quick. I'll find out when I quit recording how long it was, but I appreciate you watching. And by the way, check out my community tab. I'll keep posting things there. I'm going to post some polls as well. It's a great way for us to interact so I can figure out, hey, you know, what do you guys think about me doing a video about X or Y or Z? And then you can vote on it, right? So it's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to have a lot of fun keeping uh, up here, uh, keeping up with you guys and making things that hopefully are helpful and uh, enjoyable for you. And that's all I've got today. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Come back soon. I'll have more for you. Have a good one and adios.